Okay, normal maps are real easy. We used to have the ability to do a scan trace on it, basically taking the normals and uh, making it so the normal can extend out farther and do a scan from that and see the change. We no longer have that ability because I don't know why. The, the um, one normal map generator that used to be in here is now gone in 3.12b, but saying that it is actually 3,000 times better than what it was. So I don't miss it at all. Um, in fact, if I remember right, it crashed or slowed my computer down to all. So now we just have to hit the tangent space and rely on ZBrush to do all the work. Adaptive. We don't have such things as, and this is Subpix 4, is kind of like the version of what I was just talking about, but the normal map does not have that capability. It does have flip vertical, however, and this one does take only a few seconds to actually make, so I'll make it with you. And see how it says a processing adaptive arrays. The, that's what we were able to change was the adaptive array ratio. Again, don't miss it. Okay, so there is my normal map, and it is flipped correctly. So what I'm just going to do is take that, and since it mounted it over on the left-hand side, that means it's already up here. So I'll export that, and I'll export that as rocks underscore normal. Notice my naming convention. If you, naming conventions are everything, especially with workflow. So you should maintain a good naming convention on things. Okay, now, this one. This one's a fun one to make. I don't know if anybody knows what it is, but it's called the ambient occlusion map. Basically, you can use it to multiply your cracks and crevices, uh, and it will strengthen up those values within the shadow region. Okay, and that's based on your color, that it, it multiplies your uh, cracks and crevices onto your color layer. Okay, so to produce such map as that, what we do is go to masking. And we take your ambient occlusion distance and up it quite a bit. And we go map by ambient occlusion. Notice I have this set at a real high level. Okay. I don't know what's affecting this, so I'm making sure that in, in previous versions, certain things affected things by having alphas and stuff mounted. So you should make sure that these are gone just because, you know, to, that might still be the case. There's not too many documentation on ZBrush saying, hey, you know, your alpha map's going to affect it. I haven't seen the book of ZBrush. It's kind of what's fun about ZBrush. You just trek along and figure it out. Alright, so that's going to take some time, so in the next video uh, I'll show you a little bit more.